In an ultimate survival experiment, 100 Minecraft players were put in a massive avatar themed world. With each player receiving the powers to control one of the four elements. Water, earth, fire and air. This is 100 players simulate an elemental civilization in Minecraft. When I spawned in, I immediately realized that I was an airbender. This meant I could control the air around me and took no fall damage. As soon as all the cages opened, most players, including me, ran to the middle for the loot that was stored there. Oh! Oh! What? How does it work? How does it work? Go, 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 go! However, things really quickly turned violent as some benders immediately started attacking other players. To avoid the chaos and possibly death, I decided to flee the middle as fast as possible to find structures and more loot. After successfully surviving the middle brawl, which already sparked the first conflicts between certain groups of players, I found a player named Buck. Buckless! Buckless! Bucky Bucky, come! Who just like me, also turned out to be an airbender. How does this work? Okay, I, I looted a few chests in the middle. I got a wooden sword. How about that? how? Of course, no one really knew how to use their abilities yet, including Buck and me. Oh. Okay, relax. That hurt. How, how much damage does it do? That did like half my health. Yeah, suction. Oh. No, that doesn't work. Okay, it's not it's not air suction. It's air swipe maybe? How do you fly? God damn it. But we'll figure it out. While we had escaped the middle unscathed, we turned out to not be safe yet, as another group of rogue benders had made their way north as well, which we'd find out later were part of a bigger group of firebenders, which we would encounter many more times this event. I'm not killing, I'm not no, killing. No, no, no. Ow, ow. Oh Stop. Help. Uh, Stop. Wait, we got jumpers. They don't catch up unless they're here. They're air as well. They're following us, Buckless. Come. Where are you? I love air. We're so I dead. love air. No, suck, please. Suck, please, bro. please. Stop. I don't Stop. <laughs> Buckless, where are you? I'm running, bro. I don't know, man. Speaking of firebenders, as a firebender, someone could summon and control the flames. Additionally, they were also immune to all fire damage. Honestly, I did not like Qual's pull up on us like that. <laughs> After escaping the group of enemies, me and Buck finally had some time to breathe, as well as to master our airbending. I still don't know how to fly and it annoys me. How can I fly? God damn it, I wanna fly. I have no idea. Fly. Ah. What? Hello? Luckily for us, we met a master airbender named Unity. I'm yeah, also air. air too. How do you How fly? Do you do with her knowledge about the ways of the airbenders, Buck and me made quite some progress with using our abilities. So oh wait. Uh, <laughs> hold on. What? <laughs> Look at Buckless. <laughs> He's just <laughs> This is our teacher, Unity. Teach us how to airbend. Woohoo! Inshallah! Soon. <laughs> oh my God. We wanted to group up with Unity, but sadly she already was part of another larger group. Considering our previous two encounters, me and Buck decided to part ways with Unity and go our own way. So we said our goodbyes and moved on. Because sadly, in this world, it turned out that almost no one can be trusted. You see, as soon as someone gets killed, the killer receives a corrupted heart, which could be used to craft legendary weapons as well as to give yourself extra health, prompting a lot of benders to become hostile in order to collect more of these hearts. Woohoo! Climbing is easy, Buckless. Woohoo! I have found something. Oh, jeez! After a short walk, me and Buck found our first major structure, an upside down temple complex, which was infested with phantoms. Look at this! Oh my god. Hey, Buck! Bucky Buck! I found something, I found like, upside down towers. Guys! Oh my god, I'm being attacked by the phantoms, guys. After our fight with the phantoms, it became clear that we needed to gear up quickly. We were already one hour into the event and we were still, well, naked so we got ourselves some iron to gear up oh also before i forget to mention it aside from fire and air benders there were also water and earth benders 
As a waterbender, someone could control the element of water, and additionally had a faster swimming speed. While earthbenders had control over the rocks beneath their feet. And on top of that, they also had a permanent haste boost. With the iron gear in the pocket, it was time for the second stage of our plan. We needed to find a place to settle. However, this turned out to be more difficult than expected. Because everywhere we went, we either found hostile groups of people, abandoned structures full of enemies, or the place was just not it. Yeah, this has been looted. Man. Well, look at this. Look how beautiful it is. This looks, yeah, this looks really cool. A few days had passed, and Buck and I took the time to master our abilities, finally becoming master airbenders. It had been quite a while since we encountered the lost people, and structures seemed to be almost non-existent, until we found a small earth village in the middle of a huge savanna valley. On a scale from 1 to 10, <laughs> how likely do you think it's looted? Zero. Damn, you're so you optimistic, think man. It's not looted, it's not looted. Oh my god. Actually? Yeah! That's, uh... That's a big ass tower. Oh! oh no. Help! Matters, no. oh. Oh, I, I'm deep. I'm deep. Oh. I'm deep, deep. I'm deep. I'm deep. Oh! I flew out. And I just got in again! Help! After days of traveling and some powdered snow issues, me and Buckless had seen quite a few structures. However, except for the lewd and annoying enemies, they all seemed rather meaningless. Until we found an absolutely gigantic air temple. You reckon people are still here? Could be. Wait, I see name tags. You do? Wait, why do I see right click and left click? Well, it's a merchant. So you want to craft Sokka's sword? Oh my god. As we were airbenders ourselves, this place really felt like home. But there was a huge but. It turned out that other airbenders had already stumbled up on the temple and had looted all the towers, leaving barely anything for us. Luckily for us though, they did clear out all the enemies. In the meantime, news also quickly spread around the lands that a group of firebenders had gone completely rogue, and were purposely looking for people so they could either capture, exploit, or even worse, kill them. On top of that, they had hired assassins from different elements, which meant that no one was to be trusted. The continent was in a state of chaos. Because they were mostly looking for airbenders and we were airbenders ourselves, as a response, me and Buck decided to head into a large cave right below the air temple, where we would subsequently wait for calmer times. Well, Buck, this is our new home. Enjoy. While we were hiding in the ground, me and Buck finally got the chance to rest. We decided to gear up some more and even build ourselves a nice shrine. We actually became really good friends and promised each other that no matter what would happen next, we would never leave each other's side, and also vowed that we would only kill if we got attacked first. Oh, and the lack of sunlight also started to kick in. Oh, I got a power fish! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Not good. Huh? Not even good. Whoa! I stop. Why would you say something eat. like that? Really? <laughs> We're literally catching fish to eat. <laughs> You look got the one fish you can't eat. Come, look, look at his face. Look, just look at his face. <laughs> just look at his face. I'm looking at his face. It looks Tell like his fish. It looks like. <laughs> I never <laughs> noticed. It looks so stupid. Though our underground base felt safe and was in fact safe, we couldn't help but think about all those innocent players getting hunted by the firebenders. 
As we were master airbenders, we felt like as if we could make a difference for all those fighting against the aggressors. Whether we had actually gotten the courage to fight for what was right, or we actually weren't thinking straight because of the lack of oxygen and sunlight inside the cave, it did not matter. We were going out there. However, we would soon realize that this might have been a mistake. Whoa! Whoa! Wait, stop! Stop! Please stop, guys! Stop! 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 Please! I'm sorry, brother. Bro, no! Wait a second! Wait! Two Earth Assassins had found us and immediately went for the kill. Why? Their reasoning being because we were airbenders. I managed to get away, but Buck did not. I fled back to our cave and remained silent. Damn. This is rough. This is rough. Well time passed, my world stood still. Until I looked at Buck's heart, which he dropped off to his death, and realized something. Oh god, here we are again. This better works. Alright air god, if you can hear me, please respond. I want my brother back. Take this heart, my, my heart actually. Uh, and please bring, bring, bring him back. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, what's up? What? Buck, my, my man! What am I doing? Oh my God! Where it worked! It, it worked! God. Wait, what's happening? Right can now? I, can I kiss you? Can, can I kiss you? Can I give it back on the cheek? Uh, well, uh, well, that's, that's okay. Kind of, no, that's oh, okay. Weird. We, we, we gotta get you. We gotta get you somewhere. We gotta get the hell out of here, oh, man. Right now. I'm moving a little bit quickly. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta. What? what the heck's going on here? I, th I, I, I thought I was dead. Are you still an airbender? Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Well, yeah, 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 I am an airbender. Buck had returned. And we now both finally knew what we wanted. We realized that we could not win this fight with just the two of us. We needed allies. People we can trust with our lives. We took our gear and made our way to the exit of our cave once again. But while doing this, we did have a small problem. Oh my god. Buckless! <laughs> you fool! You obnoxious fool! That thing spawned in front of me the first time! Bro, the wardens really aren't that scary. Bro, I've never fought a warden before, never seen a warden before in survival alone. I'm scared as shit, man! Bro, I hear his footsteps, is he close to me? Who came up with the terrible idea to build a base next to the deep dark? Oh, he's mad. He's mad. I hit him with an egg. Oh, he's, he's real mad. <laughs> oh! 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 That does a lot of the- Oh! <laughs> After me and Bucket left our cave again, this time without any trouble, word spread across the country that there was conflict brewing in the east. Apparently, a group of firebenders were busy assembling all firebenders on the continent to get rid of all other benders and establish their own imperial fire nation. Alright, let's go. Farewell, cave. 
Damn, I actually hated this cave, I'm not gonna lie. On our way looking for other people, we found Unity, the master airbender that teached us how to bend earlier, who told us about another group of airbenders that needed help as well. Unity wouldn't take part in the bloodshed herself, however, but with her directions, we did find our fellow airbenders. And, uh, is Climax with you guys? Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, with yeah, us. yeah, yeah, he's with us. Okay. He's with us. Okay. So listen up, listen up. We have a few very hostile groups of people, right? People that we for sure need to uh, look out for. My plan was to, uh, to to do a, to do a global truce between as many teams as possible. The small group, led by a player named Scott, had been hiding and running for days, and were looking for more airbenders to ally with. Because, as it turned out, most of the airbenders were either killed, captured or still hiding. Buck and I were skeptical at first, but we knew that in order to survive we would have to team up. Because at the end of the day, that was also the reason why we left our cave. Can I give you this card as a, a token of friendship or peace at least? Um, what? Oh damn it! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Okay, I will give you I will give you unfortunately I am poverty stricken. So <laughs> it's alright, no no you don't need to give um, me anything. Some bread. However, Scott and his group weren't only looking for other airbenders, as he told me that they were looking for a specific person as well. A player named Crude. An earthbender that defected to the Fire Nation and was responsible for the deaths of several of Scott's friends. The last time they saw him he fled into a mysterious portal. This player was not only wanted by Scud, as this was exactly the same person that had attacked us and killed Buck earlier. And so, me and Buck decided to join Scud in his quest to look for him. Plus, and the reason why I'll oh. tell you- Ah! Oh, who did that? Wow. That was That was bugless. That was I didn't you. That Whatever. Was, okay, it didn't do much me. damage. It's alright. I need, I need, I need to, I need one thing for sure, guys, before we head into the Nether. Are we gonna fight what? for each other? Because I think it's something that needs to be discussed prior to heading into the Nether. Actually, I, I am willing. I am willing to, to speaking for my team, 100% back you. Um, so long as life. you, uh, so long as you can um, confirm to me that you have control of your team, <laughs> and will we'll do the same. Life. It just has to be for a good cause. But as I just said, he fled into a mysterious portal. Logically speaking, this meant that we had to enter that portal as well. I'm avoiding that man. Okay, look out guys, we're in a platform, okay. Guys, no shifting unless it's absolutely crit- In fact, there's no shifting at all, okay? As soon as we entered the other dimension, the search began. Oh, remember, no shifting. Remember, that's gonna somebody's gonna kill somebody with shifting by accident. Everything seemed to go quite smooth because of our careful approach. And even though Buck had some difficulty trusting Scott and his group, a bond slowly seemed to form until we encountered someone, a firebender. So far, so it good, is, guys. Uh, it is pretty ominous, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie. Yo, there's a fire. Yeah. Somebody's using a fire ability over on the right hand side. You see that over on the right hand side? There's a team on the right hand side. I can't you see it. I don't fight. see anyone. We need to have an escape plan here, lads. Can we you can you make an escape, escape route real quick? So if we start to lose. Okay, we'll spare you. We we won't fight you. Hey, TJ, is that you? TJ. Who are you? Scott, Scott over here, Scott. Yeah, I can barely hear you, dude. Hold up, let me tell up a little bit. Are there more players here? He, no, he's got fire ability. He could just fly. Nah, don't buy it. Don't buy it. He's got fire ability. He could fly. The firebender, which was called Tame, was immediately pinned down. But we did not kill him on the spot, as he seemed completely harmless. With no armor nor weapons, Tame told us that he had lost his party while scouting the other dimension. And if his words were to be true, he had no ties to the Fire Nation. Do we need to do something? We're wasting time. Everyone, Yo, listen to this. Wait, 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 I need armor, I need armor. Yeah, just come. You can, you can do it without armor. Hey, you're lucky we didn't kill you, Tame. You better come with us. I told Scott that if we would kill every firebender we would see, we would be no different from those people that were hunting down the airbenders. And because of that, we decided to let him live and take him with us instead, hoping that he could be to some good use later on. After we had walked for a few minutes, we stumbled upon a fortress. However, apart from this fortress, we also found this guy, who had very important news from our sponsor. What? Yo, yo, yo. What? Who are yo, you? Come, you wanna see something cool? Well, I'm actually kinda on a mission right now. Alright, alright, alright. Just, just come along, it'll only take a few seconds, come on. Uh, what is this? Bro. It's a web with hosting. The best server host out there. 
They have the best and fastest servers out there and they have a server for all your needs. Whether you're gonna play with a couple of friends, start a server, or make a 100 player event just like this one. Do you believe that? And here comes the best thing. Everyone gets a 20% off on the first cycle if they use code Bythor using the link in the description. But that's that's my description. Um, uh, uh, peace. What the hell? Well, Scott and Buck were exploring the other side of the abandoned fortress, me, Movus, and Darth Blitz, two prominent members of Scott's group, took care of Tame. But we had made a grave mistake in trusting Tame, as all of a sudden, this happened. Oh my god. Bro, where's Scott gone? Seriously. Just, where's Buck gone left. as well? He's also. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, are they together? I don't know. I, I, I saw Buck, but I, I didn't see Scott. Yo, I found him, I found him. You did? I found him. Who's Scott? I, I, yeah, yeah, I found him, I found him. Oh, 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 get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. Oh, I actually caught him. Oh, oh my god. god. Like a oh my god. No. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh my. Tame. Did he die? I didn't. Did he Dame. actually die? Tame, is it a trick? Milfils! Wait, he died. Tame, look, look, look at me. No, he died. Look, look, look at me, Tame. Look at the ground, he died. Look at me. He literally died. Yeah, we just lost Milfils. You he attacked him, Tame. I, did, Wait, I didn't mean to. I said, cr I'm crouching. Get away from me. Tame accidentally okay. pulled himself up and it hit Mufus off the edge. I don't know, man. Tame's no. real sus Fuck. now. That's that's Fuck. some insider job. No. Shit, bro. From who? Why would Tame. I do that? He murdered uh, Mufus. Yeah, you stay there. No, no. I don't want to die. I do not want to You're going die. to die if you don't listen. Get in the corner. Hold up. Tame, Listen, get in the corner. Get stay in the corner. corner. Stay in the corner. Okay. You stay in the corner. Just stay in the corner. Where's Scott, guys? We need Scott. I've heard. We're Stay executing him. Corner. No, we're not executing him. We're doing a trial first, okay? We're doing yeah, a trial. Yeah, no, no, I'll tell what you the what the trial is. is. I'll tell you what the trial is. Dang he died shit. now. Everybody Kill back, up! please. Wait, no, stop. No, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. We allowed him up. life and to follow us, and as a result, one of my team members is now dead. Well, listen, I, I demand, I demand, I demand his death as payment. Yeah, you can give us your heart. Yes, there is. You could jump off into the lava right now. No, no, no. no we need his heart. We need his heart. Okay, wait, Tim. Okay, Tim, okay. wait. Tim, wait, wait. Stop. Stop. No. See, look at what happened. Look at what happened. Oh, my he God. Can, he oh could go God. in lava, he Scott. He died. Tim had killed one of Scott's friends. Movus. Even though Tim begged for mercy and screamed it was an accident, Scott commanded his men to execute Tame. After the deaths of both Movus and Tame, Scott and I decided to cancel the hunt and go back to our continent, in order to avoid more unnecessary deaths. During our adventure in the other dimension however, back in the overworld, the Fire Nation had established their kingdom. Everyone who opposed them, got executed. But there was a glimmer of hope, as the players that managed to escape the Fire Nation's wrath had moved up north to form their own alliance, consisting of both water, air, earth and even some defected firebenders. They were known as the Resistance. This meant that a major conflict between the two factions had become inevitable. A couple of days ago, Buck had been brought back to life. But even though he returned both physically and mentally, his spirit never did. Apparently, being resurrected did come with a cost. He was tired, and after everything that had happened in the past few days, he could not go further. Buck, I know that since you've been brought back to life, you've not been the same. I, who saw Buck as my brother, had to respect his choice and let him rest. However, he did not want to just leave us empty-handed, so he offered to reach out to Muvu's spirit as soon as he died, to try and bring him back, so that by losing one friend, Another might be returned. And so, we listened to Buck's wish. You wish to give your life uh, to bring someone back, someone dear to Scott, Darth, and OKGO. Okay I would like to thank you for your service. You've been a very good friend to me. Goodbye, Buck. Right here, move 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 right here,
right here, right here, Mufus. Right it to is me. Guess the gear, guess the gear. Buck had done it. Mufus is back. I needed some time on my own to spread Buck's ashes. So I could get myself together and return to Scott and his group, who in the meantime were going to look for the resistance. But unbeknownst to us, something big was about to happen. After a while, a few members of the Fire Nation had found old scrolls in one of the air temples. Scrolls including information on how someone could become the Avatar. The Avatar could not master one, but all four elements and would be by far the most powerful bender on the continent. To become the Avatar, a person had to obtain a few artifacts. The last of which was defended by a dragon. But one of the Fire Nation defectors that had joined the resistance also knew this. And so, the elite squads of both the Fire Nation and the resistance looked for the dragon. However, the Fire Nation hit first. With the sacred dragon being killed by Pierce, a high ranking member of the Fire Nation, he had managed to acquire the bending skills of every single element, becoming the Avatar. With the Avatar on their side, the Fire Nation had now become even more powerful. After I had spread Brick's ashes, I went to look for Scott and his group again, who had found members of the Resistance in a cave deep below the surface. It's TJ, it's Anticlimax, yes, yes. Yep. Dig down, dig down, <laughs> you'll, you'll find us eventually. A bunch of firebenders have grouped up and they've made like a big team and they're going around killing everyone. As soon as we are reunited, both Scott and Mufus officially swore allegiance to me. From now on, we would not leave each other's side and we would be willing to die for each other if need be. Upon meeting with the rest of the resistance, Neo, who had seen the incarnation of the Avatar himself, came up with a plan. Guys, we were in the end. We were in the end and they, they got the egg. They killed B-Tech, they got the egg. One of the scouts had managed to get information about a supply run that some of the firebenders were doing back at the center of the map. And because of that, Neo had set up a plan to ambush those firebenders in order to take out some of their fighters and even the odds. And so, we waited. Go, 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 When the firebender showed up, we attacked, but we should have known better, as amongst these firebenders there was also the Avatar. After a few deaths on our side, most of us fled. We had underestimated the powers of the Avatar. The ambush had failed miserably. Oh, then, then Blank is a hunt. Blank is a fire. I Wait, are you with us? Mean to be are you fire? Here, am I? What's the code Blank? word? During the failed ambush, I again encountered an old friend. It was Unity. However, since the last time I had seen her, she had been forced to join the Fire Nation. And because of this, the Allies were about to kill her. So in order to return the favor of her learning me and Buck how to bend earlier, I stood in between her and the allies and convinced them to spare her life. After which me and Unity said our goodbyes once again. Just go away, they'll kill you. Just just run, just run, okay? Just run, they, they'll kill you, okay? okay? So just please just okay. run, run. Thank you for and the mercy. Don't come back. Climax, 
Andy Climax, Andy Climax, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. The avatar came for me, the avatar tried to kill me, bro. What? He tried to kill me, but I got away, I got away. All of the members of the resistance immediately assembled a couple of miles west to make new plans. People were scared after they had seen the powers of the avatar, but some others reminded the rest that we still had the numbers. So there we had a new plan. This time, instead of an ambush, we would attack the fire headquarters in force to dethrone the firebenders and once again restore the balance. But as we were discussing this plan, this happened. The fire yeah, nation not wants to rid the world of all bending, but you guys chose to make the right choice and said yes to everyone being able to bend. That was liver! What are you hitting me for, you muppet? Amongst our large group of people, a spy of the Fire Nation had infiltrated our ranks and assassinated several of the high-ranking members of our group. And as a result, multiple water, earth and airbenders had been killed. TNT. Scott, get back! Get back, TNT. Scott! Oh. Scott, get back! Liver is he's here! It's that guy! It's he! He did it! Consequently, the infiltrator got killed almost immediately. And in an act of rage, we decided to wait no longer and headed for the fire temple. Liver, so liver nice. conscripted so by nice. the Fire Nation. We need revenge. We need revenge. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Let's yes, go. Right. Let's go. Let's get revenge. Let's get revenge. Let's get revenge. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Climax. Oh, look at this battle, man. Oh my god. Kill anti, kill anti. Why? Why would you do that? You're an airbender. You're I'm an not. Airbender. What are you talking about? You are, don't lie. Stop lying. What are you talking about? Just like the uh, just like the show, kill him. Oh god. DJ, sing for us. I'm gonna sing if you sing, stop hitting me! Sing, I'm gonna sing if you sing, stop hitting me! Sing, 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 Hey, we have jetpacks, bro. You don't wanna do that. Oh. oh my god. We have jetpacks. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Oh! Thank you for pulling back up, TJ. Oh. Well, where are they finding you? Oh, he's all... He's like, he's going to Wait, you're on my team. Get TJ, get TJ, get... Wait, are you on our team? No, anti is on our team. is on our team. Oh, wait, is he eating a gun out? He's eating a gun out. Get TJ, get TJ. Hold out your switches in your off game so we know who you are. I can't, my ability is breaking my team. Where's TJ? TJ! Yeah, these, are so many, these are so many, these are so many, these are so many! Oh my god! Anti -clim Yo, get anti <laughs> Go get I don't know, bro. I don't know. I'm still alive. Scott! Where are my teammates? Plastic! Scott! I'm your teammate, I'm your teammate, stop running! 
gone! Oh. The Fire Nation was too strong. The powers of the Avatar were unmatched. The resistance was decimated. Many people died, including Finkel, the head of the resistance, Muvus, and even Scott. Only a handful of benders managed to survive, amongst them me and Neo. But the firebenders did not wait and immediately looked for us, as we would for always be a threat to them. We decided to hold our ground and make our last stand on an airship nearby. Guys, we, we, can, we can pull a last stand on one of the airships over there. They take fall damage, we don't. Wait, you was? Okay. Yeah, he was. Wait, wait, wait. It might be a misunderstanding. This guy's the avatar. This guy's the avatar. Watch, watch him here. Watch him here. Guys, wait a second. Anti's on our team. Anti's on our team. What are you doing? He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's an airbender. He's an airbender. He's on our team. Oh my God! I keep running. I keep running. I keep running. I'm covering you. I'm covering you. Get away. Get away. Oh no. They put love on him. My bad. He got me for about two seconds. Oh, wait, uh, uh. Even though the airship gave us a huge advantage and many firebenders died, our numbers slowly shrinked until there were only a few of us remaining. I ran across the battlefield and fought till the very end, until even my armor was completely broken. But there was no escape. Follow is not right. <laughs> Let me get in! <laughs> get him! This is for you, Buck. This is for you. He is naked! He is fully naked! <laughs> Serious. Oh. And that was the end of my story.